Good evening and welcome to Bellevue University Spring 2023 Doctoral PhD Hooding and Commencement Ceremony. Well, I didn't have you sit because we're gonna do the benediction, so would everyone else please rise for the benediction uh, given by Dr. Paul Poplar. Thank you. Invocation. God of all faith, we thank you for your gift of this graduation day. We rejoice in all of Bellevue University's graduates, students, family members, board of directors, members, presidents, deans, administrative faculty, staff, and guests participating in these ceremonies. We know that the journeys were not easy. There are late nights, few hours for uh, sleep, miss family events, and very little time for ourselves. And besides our studies and our support of our loved ones, all of us have duties that we had to defray for needed time of other people in our lives, a quite a big sacrifice. Our commitment to our spouses, our partners, our family, our friends, and our work colleagues. But in spite of all these challenges, we know that you, God of all faiths, gave us hope, courage, patience to complete our responsibilities to meet this graduation day. We thank you, God of all faiths, for surely I am with us here today and always. Let us forever be grateful to you, God of all faiths. Amen. You may be seated. This commencement is a special opportunity for us to recognize the significant work of those students who've completed the requirements of their chosen doctoral degree. The pursuit of a doctoral degree, like Paul said, is a challenging journey, and it's a long journey, as the graduates and families can attest to. You've learned the skills and expertise to become exceptional practitioners and scholars in your fields and in your organizations. We look forward to seeing your careers unfold as leaders and experts in the field. We're very fortunate to have excellent faculty, staff, and administrators who support these students on their academic journeys. Additionally, we are very fortunate to have an engaged and supportive board of directors to help guide the institution. Therefore, we will begin with an introductions of some of these key individuals. As I introduce our name, would you please stand and then you can be seated. And then if our, the audience will hold their applause until we've introduced everybody, appreciate it. I will start with our uh, Board of Directors representative, Director Gail Seaton. Then Dr. Re Dr. Rebecca Murdoch, Dr. Michelle Epler, Dr. Matt Davis, Dr. Greg Ashley, Dr. Paul Poplar, Dr. Carolyn Yusuf Morgan, Dr. Kevin Shire, Dr. Stacy Wade, Mr. John Erickson, <clears throat> Dr. Julia Cronin Gilmore, Dr. Kelly Silty, Dr. Jane Schaefer, Dr. Nick Wolf. Dr. Inyun Han, Dr. Steven Lindenberger, Dr. Carl Peterson, and Dr. Linda Thomas. And I failed to introduce myself. I'm Mary Hawkins, president of Bellevue <laughs> University. <laughs> I just figured you'll guess that. <laughs> you heard a long list of doctors here tonight. But that list is gonna grow and we're so honored and excited that you shared your doctoral path with us. Um, it's uh, really amazing and heartfelt to see all of you um, come to this day. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for choosing Bellevue. We really do honor your um, academic prowess and your, we all know, you've got a whole room of us who know exactly what it took to get here today. So you've got our heartfelt both sympathy and celebration. Tonight, it is um, my pleasure to now introduce Dr. Rebecca Murdoch, who will introduce our student speaker. You're 
Good evening, everyone. This is really fun for me tonight to introduce our student speaker who represents our graduates tonight. So during the Great Recession, we learned that Kyle Payne earned a bachelor's degree in philosophy and a master's degree in adult education, only to find, as he put it, there was low demand for both corporate trainers and philosophers. So he went back to school and he learned to weld and with, over the next decade eventually rose to a quality management role for a global manufacturer of infrastructure products. Tonight, it is my pleasure to introduce him as Dr. Kyle Payne because he er has earned his PhD in human capital management here at Bellevue University. Dr. Payne now serves as the talent development manager for Collins Engineers and as a leadership consultant with Development Dimensions International. He has served as a volunteer exam developer for several professional organizations and currently serves on a committee overseeing ethics and professional practice in the coding industry. Dr. Payne's research on unethical, pro-organizational behavior has attracted invitations from multiple professional associations and will be included in this year's conference for the Society of Business Ethics. He and his partner, Sid, reside in Chicago, along with two other friends who are cats, and their names are Queso and Fundido. So perhaps at the reception, you can ask him about them. All right, please welcome Dr. Kyle Payne to the podium. We didn't name the cats, Queso and Fundido. <laughs> President Hawkins, Board of Directors, faculty, graduating class of 2023, family, friends, and guests, welcome. Graduates, congratulations. We are celebrating an achievement today that you fought hard to achieve, one that started with setting a goal for yourself. Each of us had unique motivations to pursue a doctorate, whether that's to teach or conduct research or advance in our career. Or for some of us, it may simply have been the personal enrichment that comes with understanding how people work, how teams work, or how organizations work. But you decided to go after your goal. You made a commitment to earning your doctorate. And then you took a step that I think can be equal parts exciting and terrifying, and you told people close to you about your goal. You asked for their support and their encouragement, and you asked for others to trust you and believe in you. You took a chance on yourself and you asked others to do the same. As you set out to earn your doctorate, you brought some baggage with you. Uh, we all do. Many of us fit into the category of what they call non-traditional students, right? A population that I think Bellevue University serves better than most institutions. So our path to earning a doctorate likely had some roadblocks requiring us to pause or to pivot uh, or even to start over. Um, in my case, as, as Dr. Murdoch in, indicated, I graduated during the Great Recession, not a great time to go looking for a job. Um, and they were, in fact, not hiring philosophers at the time. Uh, so my philosophy degree wasn't much use. I completed a master's degree in adult education, found out very quickly that uh, those were the first jobs to be cut, right, when it was uh, time to cut corners. So I pivoted, I went back to school, um, I learned how to weld, uh, and I spent the next decade working in welding and quality management roles that I never would have imagined, but that enabled me to make a difference. And now that I've made my way back toward talent development, I'm honored to train and coach and support some of the best professional engineers in the country. And I feel especially fortunate to get to share my research on how engineers and other professional workers navigate ethical dilemmas. Today, graduates, know that we're all here to celebrate you. We're proud of you. We see you and we see the hard work you've put in and the delicate balancing act you've maintained between school and other obligations the way you've overcome obstacles, including the ones that you didn't see coming. Thank you for letting us be a part of your journey. Through your actions, you've demonstrated, as James Baldwin put it, those who say it can't be done are usually interrupted by others who are doing it. 
Today, graduates, let's celebrate. And let's thank the people around us who have made today and our journey to today possible. Then, in the next few weeks, I want you to think about what it means to be in the 2% of the population who has earned a doctorate. Your family, friends, colleagues, and others whose lives you influence, they will see you differently. More than ever, they will consider you as someone they might like to follow. And if you let them, they will see the creativity, the intellectual curiosity, and the resilience that enabled you to earn your doctorate. And they will draw inspiration from you. I think Toni Morrison said it best in a message to her students. She said, when you get these jobs that you've been so brilliantly trained for, just remember that your real job is that if you are free, you need to free somebody else. If you have some power, then your job is to empower somebody else. Graduates, I encourage you to think about what having a doctorate means to you. Think about what res responsibilities you feel for leading others toward a better, more humane society. And I promise I'll do the same. Thank you and congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you for that. It's great and an honor to have you as a very diversely educated uh, fellow graduate speak to your um, peers. Um, at this time now, I'm going to ask Director Gail Seaton to come to the podium, and we are going to confer the degrees. So graduates, please stand. Director Seaton, on behalf of the faculty of the university, I have the honor to present to you and the board of directors these candidates who have fulfilled the requirements for designated Bellevue University degrees. By the virtue of the chartered power granted by the state of Nebraska to the Bellevue University Board of Directors, and by reason of recommendation from the president and the faculty of, Bac of Bellevue University, be it known to all those present on behalf of and in the name of the Board of Directors, I hereby confer the doctoral degrees upon the candidates together with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining hereto. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you, Gail. At this time, Dr. Murdoch will come forward to present doctoral degrees. Today, we begin the degree awards with the hooding ceremony for the PhD and doctoral graduates. The doctoral degree is the highest of all academic awards. The graduates from the PhD program in human capital management being honored today will join 80 other graduates of this program as accomplished alumni. Additionally, the graduates of the doctorate in business administration program which was just launched in 2019, will join 16 graduates of that program as accomplished alumni as well. As of the conclusion of our ceremony today, the 12 year plus history of doctoral education at Bellevue University will reflect proudly on more than 110 graduates who are exemplary leaders and scholars across the globe. Enrolling in a doctoral program is a rigorous journey that includes the development of both subject matter expertise and the development of skill as researchers. The culmination of the doctoral program journey is evidenced by the completion of a dissertation or doctoral project. As we announce our graduates today, we will highlight the titles of these culminating works along with the faculty who served as the students' dissertation chairs throughout the research process. It is important to note that the completion of a dissertation requires many months of investigation into existing knowledge around a topic, as well as the design and implementation of a research study. The students' research studies have involved data gathering, 
complex data analysis and the synthesis of many inputs to arrive at conclusions and recommendations for improvements and changes in their organizations or for further research in their field of study. In addition to announcing the dis student's dissertation titles, the graduates will also receive a doctoral hood along with their diplomas as further evidence of their achievement. A blue velvet trim appears on the hood for those receiving the PhD degree. The color of the trim for other doctoral hoods represents the subject of the degree. Thus, the DBA students' hoods are trimmed in the color brown. Moreover, the hood's coloring is also representative of the institution from which it was awarded. Finally, the doctoral hood complements the other pieces of academic regalia to include our doctoral robes, the doctoral tam, and their tassel. We are very pleased today to present seven graduates from the Doctor of Business Administration program and nine graduates from the PhD program in Human Capital Management. Dr. Hawkins, our president, will assist in hooding our graduates and awarding their diplomas. Also participating in the hooding are the graduates' dissertation chairs, Dr. Nick Wolf, Dr. Julia Cronin Gilmore, Dr. In Yun Han, Dr. Stephen Linenberger, Dr. Paul Poplar, Dr. Carolyn Yusuf Morgan, and Dr. Greg Ashley. Would Dr. Hawkins and our faculty please come forward? All right, here we go. Our first doctorate of business administration graduate today is Danielle M. Eber. Danielle, if you'll just come to the front of the podium there. <laughs> Dr. Eber's dissertation is titled, Exploring the Effects of WELL Certified Building Components on Employee Job Satisfaction her dissertation chair is Dr. Nick Wolf. Congratulations, Danielle. <laughs> Ashley Rochelle Hampton. Dr. Hampton's dissertation is titled, Insidious Inequality, Evaluating the Racial Pay and Wealth Gap, Dissertation Chair, Dr. Julia Cronin Gilmore. <laughs> All right, let's give her a round of applause. <laughs> Jeffrey Anton Henriksen, Sr. Thank you. Dr. Henriksen's dissertation is titled Quality of Work Life in On-Call Technology Employees. Dissertation Chair is Dr. Inhun Han. <laughs> Shirlene Hewitt. Dr. Hewitt's dissertation is titled Women in STEM. Education, Self-Efficacy, Networking Behavior, and Career Success. And her dissertation chair is Dr. In Hyun Han. <laughs> Stephen James Haran. Dr. Haran's dissertation is titled, Best Practices in Adjunct Faculty Management for Improved Student Outcomes, a Comprehensive Guide. His dissertation chair is Dr. Steven Lindenberger. <laughs> Beth A. Konica. Dr. Konikoff's dissertation is titled, The Effect of Telehealth Virtual Visits on Patient Loyalty, Exploring Patient Satisfaction as a Mediator. And her dissertation chair is Dr. In Hyun Han.
Katie Jo McGuire. Dr. McGuire's dissertation is titled, Breaking Barriers, How Employers Can Support Sustained Employment for Individuals with Autism Spectrum Disorder, a case study of the Connections Program through the Autism Center of Nebraska. And her dissertation chair is Dr. In Hyun Ha. And now, our first PhD in Human Capital graduate is Carrie Elizabeth Carbajal. Dr. Carbajal's dissertation is titled, Why Are You Not Asking for Workplace Accommodations? Exploring the Attitudes and Behaviors of Individuals with Hearing Loss Requesting Workplace Accommodations, a Phenomenological Study, and her dissertation chair is Dr. Paul Poplar. <laughs> Jennifer Diane Elston. <laughs> Dr. Elston's dissertation is titled the Qualitative Underpinnings of Turnover, a Meta-Synthesis. Her dissertation chair is Dr. Greg Ashley. Congratulations. Proud of you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Joan Marie Evans. Dr. Evans' dissertation is titled, Entitlement Effects on Presenteeism, The Influencing Role of Psychological Contract and Supervisor Conflict. And her dissertation chair is Dr. Greg Ashley. Richard M. Gertz. Dr. Gertz's dissertation is titled, Reducing Employee Turnover Through Empowerment. And his dissertation chair is Dr. Greg Ashley. Kyle Payne. <laughs> Dr. Payne's dissertation is titled, Doing Bad Things for Good Reasons, an Examination of Unethical Pro-Organizational Behavior Among Professional Workers. His dissertation chair is Dr. Greg Ashley. Rita Persaud. <laughs> Dr. Persaud's dissertation is titled, Can Psychological Capital Mitigate Suicide Ideation? Her dissertation chair is Dr. Carolyn Yusuf Morgan. Paul Pierce. <laughs> Dr. Pierce's dissertation is titled, Psychological Capital, Work Stress, and Flourishing. His dissertation chair is Dr. Carolyn Yusuf Morgan. Eric John Reyes. Go ahead. 
Dr. Reyes's dissertation is titled, Telecommuting Effects on Job Satisfaction, The Moderating Roles of Objective Outcome Orientation, Professional Isolation and Job Autonomy. And his dissertation chair is Dr. Greg Ashley. Christopher J. Ritchie. Dr. Ritchie's dissertation is titled, Worry, Psychological Capital, and COVID-19 Preparedness Behaviors, a Moderated Mediation Study of Law Enforcement Officers. His dissertation chair is Dr. Carolyn Yusuf Morgan. Okay, so we are, as you well know, very, very proud of you and so happy to call you doctoral alums. It's our honor and privilege. Um, the path to the doctoral degree was long and hard, not only for you, but for your families and probably some of the faculty. <laughs> so at this time, I would like to ask you to stand up and thank those people who helped you along this way. Thanks, you may be seated. We appreciate the time you've had, uh, we've had to get to know you and see your successful work through this challenges and to the dissertation. Um, I think it was Kyle who talked about the 2%. There's a large percent of people who start doctoral programs and never get as far as you. It is not for the faint of heart and we really do know the work and the perseverance and the support that got you here. So congratulations. And hopefully, as Kyle said, these are things that you can turn around and push forward to others and give them the confidence and the support that they need to pursue other degrees or other uh, changes in their life that make their families, themselves, and their communities and organizations better. So at this time, we are going to um, Congrat not only congratulate our graduates, but close out our ceremony with a benediction from Dr. Paul Poplar. Uh, and at, after that, we will recess out and then we'll meet across the way for refreshments. Congratulations. And I assure you, there's plenty of opportunities for more pictures. So not a problem there. Paul. Thank you. You all stand now. Before we go our separate ways, let us take a quiet moment of prayer and thankfulness for the deceased members of our families, our communities, our Bellevue University family, and those whom we remember. God of all faiths, grant them eternal rest, peace, and happiness. We also thank you, God, for those of us who are here on earth. Help us go forth as world leaders who guide and act with integrity, kindness, and wisdom. Help us to seek innovation, innovative change in active contributing members of our communities. And bless us with your gifts of fortitude, understanding, perseverance, and mercy as we work for justice and peace. And may our lives be a blessing to all. Amen. Thank you.